Hi, I'm Ron Roland from Money and Markets TV. I've spent my investment career following sector momentum, and right now my indicators are showing a lot of short-term strength in real estate. Like my colleague Mike Larson, I find it hard to believe the housing market has truly bottomed. But if the industry's upward momentum continues, there are several ways to profit from it using ETFs. The first path to real estate profits is with exchange-traded funds that focus on home builders. This is a very unpredictable business. Builders have to plan years in the future and market their homes very aggressively. Plus, their profits are largely at the mercy of economic forces they can't control. But when the stars line up correctly, big home builders like Toll Brothers and Pulte Group can make a lot of money. And there are several ETFs that give you diversified exposure to the entire group. You can also invest in the housing market through real estate investment trusts, or REITs. This is a special category of securities that represent tradable ownership shares of a real property portfolio. Different REITs target different types of property, such as commercial, residential, or certain geographic regions. Others may emphasize current income or seek capital growth. REIT ETFs, including two from iShares and one sponsored by Spider, own a portfolio of REITs, and each of those investment trusts holds a portfolio of properties. The third path to real estate profits is with mortgage lending ETFs. Securitized mortgage lenders own a majority of home mortgages in the United States, and ETFs that specialize in these nebulous pools of money effectively make you the lender. There's another vehicle closely related to these mortgage lending funds called the Spider S&P Mortgage Finance ETF. It owns the common stock of companies involved in mortgage lending, which tend to be smaller banks and mortgage insurers. So there are four main ways to play a potential upswing in the housing market using ETFs. But what if you want to bet against the real estate sector? In that case, there are two inverse ETFs that are designed to go up in value as certain housing index declines. However, both of these funds carry built-in leverage, which means they can be extremely volatile. Inverse ETFs are trading vehicles. They're not designed to be buy and hold, so success with them depends heavily on your timing. With any of the ETFs I mentioned today, it would be wise to proceed cautiously. So, do your homework and good luck. I'm Ron Rowland for Money and Markets TV. Thank you for watching.